Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle. Thanks for joining me as I continue my Let's Play of Out There Omega Edition. Um, so I don't know if you saw the last video or not, but we countered what I can only think is a bug. Uh, we found an alien or another ship that had some humans on board. It revealed a new location on the map, um, but we couldn't take off. We couldn't use either ship, our old ship or the new ship we found, to actually leave the galaxy. In fact, I couldn't even like get back to the screen where I could choose a new destination. Um, and then after I ended that video, I restarted, I quit the game and restarted it, hoping maybe that would fix it. But when I did that, uh, my ship was back in orbit in the star system. And when I tried to go back and uh, view the ship, uh, it was like one of those last chance efforts because I didn't have enough fuel to do so. And the game ended right there because I ran out of fuel. So not sure what happened there, um, but we're just going to go ahead and start a new game this time instead and uh, use what we learned from the last playthrough to see if we can make it a little further. So here we go. All right, so there's our destination once again. And here we are way up here. And last time we got shown uh, like a green destination further away from uh, beyond the red destination. So uh, we'll see what we can do to get there. Uh, so we'll make our first choice here, yellow dwarf as usual. Um, I think I am going to try a little bit something different. Um, I'm going to I'm, I'm going back and forth on remining or redrilling, and I think what I'm going to do is start drilling at seven. And if I find like a decent supply of anything, I'll reduce the drill depth and try to drill again because maybe that means there's more minerals higher up. Not sure. Still trying to figure that out. So anyway, I fly over the surface of the planet with a very shallow atmosphere, hoping to find someone or something that can help me. The planet's surface suddenly trembles, and an immense pyramidal creature appears before me, obstructing the nearest star with the size of its body. Huge eye of this creature cracks open and looks at me. Its immense tentacle grabs my ship. I'm busted. The creature, however, is not trying to crush or eat me. It examines me. Uh, let's try being friendly. Out of scraps lying about my ship, I have made a sign of my peaceful intentions. I hope you can see it. And you know what? It worked! The tentacle had retreated and I flew away quickly while the curious eye of the creature was still staring at me. My first friend in this strange space odyssey, a six million ton friend who will never be able to come to my parties. I'll be seeing you, buddy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, so this game has kind of a weird sense of humor if you haven't figured that out yet. Uh, but I enjoy it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and mine the rocky planet. land drill we'll set the drill to seven so we get platinum tungsten silicon and some iron uh, I don't think that's worth a redrill so we'll finish here and take off go try to get some fuel from the gas giant send in the probe we'll set it to seven as well so just 17, we should be okay. We'll finish up here, go to our ship, refuel. Uh, let's use the seven first. And let's just throw in this five. Um, what I also want to do, I want to split this. I want to get, I just want to kind of keep three of these at all times for well, that was kind of dumb. Three of these at all times for uh, repairs. So I kind of want to keep that. I don't want to use that up. All right. Let's make our next jump. A supernova or a red dwarf. Um, let's see. There are more options this way, but I think you could get stranded if you go too far. So we'll pick the supernova. My electromagnetic sensors have gone crazy. I got a message from an object close to the star. Well, sort of. Characters and words are beyond my recognition. I can't understand a thing. But when I approach the star, I realize the full scale of this tragedy. The station lost its orbit and is about to fall into the burning sun. It will only take a few days for the sun to completely devour it. I see no way out. All right, so we can push the station towards the star, which will probably kill it, or we can put the station into a new orbit. Um, which might let us explore it. So let's do that. I hooked the station to my ship. I almost burned out my reactors fighting the star's gravity field, but managed to change the station's orbit successfully. You'd normally expect 
some gratitude for such efforts, but no, the station is dead silent. I am cursing all the civilizations in the universe when my board computer finally lights up. Oh, a gift. So yeah, we lost fuel, but we got the gravitational lens. Um, I don't remember what that does, if I ever knew. So the gravitational lens is an upgrade to the telescope. It acquires multiple images of stellar bodies and compares the difference, discovering additional orbital objects. Yeah, I, th I, I think that would re reveal more planets to us. Uh, we need gold and hafnium to build that, so... We'll be on the lookout for that and maybe build it. I'm not sure what it does, honestly. So we found a rocky planet and a gas giant. We'll hit the gas giant, or the rocky planet, first. This planet hosted life, but now it's dead. The high walls of an empty stone city are nearby. I find a structure holding statues. Besides, there's a pile of components. One of them is a broken space folder. So there's something unknown here. Oval in shape. What could it be? I must study it. So we learned the uh, plans for the shield generator, which we've known before. Oh no, a lava flux melted my drill. I had to rebuild it. Digging this deep can be quite hazardous, which yes, we knew that. So... Uh, that's fine. We got plenty of iron. I'll take this 20 and this 12 and this silicon. Even though I, I don't know that silicon is ever used for anything at all. Uh, so let's go ahead and repair our drill while I'm thinking about it. Oh, wait, we don't we don't repair. We have to rebuild it. Oh, all right. Um, what what do we have for fuel? We didn't get any fuel, though. That's not good. Um, hmm. Oh, that's... Oh, no, I don't know what I'm thinking. That's not where we get fuel. That's why we didn't get any. Makes sense, right? Alright, here's where we get fuel. Send in the probe. Helium, always great. I'm gonna get rid of this silicon. I just... I think it's useless. Um, do I have any use for tungsten right now? Man, I should have used some of this iron up. I'm going to just leave, let's see, we'll make a 20 stack and then leave the 6. Leave the, oh, there we go. Not to leave anything behind. We'll take hydrogen. Finish up here. Let's throw in this helium. And this hydrogen. Let's repair the hull. Um, and let's top off our oxygen, I guess. I was really hoping we'd find a uh, planet to refill, which we probably will now that I said that. And let's make another jump. Blue Giants. On my own, I have charted more territory than any human explorer in history. I wonder if these discoveries will change me. I wonder if I will still be human the day I land back on Earth, because I will find the Earth again. I know it. So nothing here, which is weird. Um, we're not going into that star just because we can't afford to do, take the damage. So we'll check out the supernova. Something has crashed onto the observation bay window. A purple and blue object growing very fast, looking like a plant. It spreads quickly across the entire ship, and the internal temperature starts to plummet. It's absorbing my heat. Before I freeze to death, I leap into my spacesuit and quickly consider my options. So we can fly towards the nearest star, or we can try to go out in space to kill the monster. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to fly to the nearest star. I power the engine and rocket towards the star. The heat of the sun quickly warms my ship, and the heat-thieving plant quickly releases its grip. I watch as the plant grows exponentially as it falls towards the raging star, throwing leaves and branches ten times the size of my ship. Moments before it's consumed in the photosphere, the planet ejects six purple and blue seeds into space, just like the one that crashed into my ship. What a fascinating method of reproduction. So we lost fuel and we took damage from that. Uh, and we found a breathable planet, which, hey, I, did I call that or what? So at least we'll be able to refill our oxygen here. Uh, we'll encounter the life. We've found a race, the Sol Cryro. Um, they're saying their name there. We haven't learned any languages yet. I could probably start like writing these down as we learn them because I don't think they're randomized. Uh, but we'll go ahead and prove what he says. Hopefully it's not like I want to kill you or anything. We learned the word love. Alright. And let's go ahead and drill while we're here as well. 
Awesome. So this must be where you get uh, these elements. So what is this finally? We'll kind of find out. It is copper. Okay. So we'll take the copper. Uh, we'll take the gold because we need that to build something. And CO is what? Cobalt. All right. Um, we don't really need this oxygen. I will take the 20. What is just C? C is carbon. Okay, so carbon, copper, and cobalt. Um, I want to take as much of this stuff as I can. Um, it sucks that we didn't get any fuel, but... Um, hmm. I think I can build... No, I, need, I needed the... Uh, Uh, I forget what it's called. Hafnium, I believe, to build the other thing. Well, we're going to be in pretty dire straits here because we can't use... We, there's, we got no fuel from that. Uh, we're going to lose four when we take off. There's nothing else here, right? Nope. So it's going to take 18 just to get to this red dwarf. This could be a short one. I just passed through a very dense asteroid field. It was too late to change course. I survived, but there are dents and cracks everywhere on the hull, so we're going to take some damage probably. Yep. So I need to get some gas, but we could take a chunk of hull damage, so let's throw in our iron before we do that. And I'm not going to be able to drill very deeply. Um, I may not even be able to land. Nope, it takes 10 fuel just to land. Wow. 10 fuel just to orbit. So we're going to have to take... Well, let's see. Uh, I don't think I can dismantle anything and get fuel from it. Man, this game, as you can see, can be quite harsh. All right, um, and we, so, hmm, so we could jump for our last ditch effort, or we could land on a planet, and if that makes it, I think we'd be able to do it again. I think either way, we're screwed here. Let's try to orbit the gas giant. We'll risk it all, and that's it. That's the end of our journey. Uh -huh. All right, let's go ahead and just uh, restart another mission here. I think maybe they should tweak the randomness a bit because that can happen way too often. I, you know, I'm not the best player of this game yet, obviously, but um, I don't know. It seems like sometimes I miss hamburgers. Sometimes it seems like there's not a lot you can do. Um, maybe I need to just mine more often than I do on each planet before I jump. You know, try to keep above 50 fuel. Um, I don't know. Or maybe not land here at first. Let's just try getting gas. I mean, seven seems to be good for finding helium, which is always good. Like, see, this one might be a good target to mine again, so I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to reduce it to five and launch it again. Uh, so, decent enough. I'm gonna take. I'm just gonna leave. Well, now see, I got the helium, so I'm, I am gonna go get iron from this planet. Send that in at seven. So we got like 24. We got like plenty of helium. It's like four times for the fuel there, so I think we're okay. So let's let's try the same trick. Drill at seven, drill at five. Just got five more, which is okay, but not ideal. And that weighs fuel, so I probably shouldn't have done that, but we'll see. So we'll finish up here, take a look at our ship, um, dump in our delicious helium. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, let's get our hull topped off make another jump so yeah I mean I think that's the approach is maybe doing more trying to get more before each jump trying to stay at 90 before you make each jump because man sometimes you can just get screwed
So we found a signal buoy, a space station, so let's try to grab it. Take advantage of the star's gravity, achieve a risky downward spiraling force. Staying better, been worth the trouble, so it looks like we got it. We learned the Ultra Pro. We took some damage, but that's okay. What is the Ultra Pro? I haven't seen that one yet. So the Ultra Pro, we need platinum and silicon to build it. So there you go, finally something that can build silicon. And it multiplies the efficiency of the hydrogen probe. I can even use it around stars. Okay. So that should be pretty helpful. That should allow us to get a lot more gas. So, uh, sorry, what do we need to build that? Platinum and silicon. All right. So that could be good. So gas giant. Let's go in for the orbit. Send in the probe. There's nothing left to drill. What? Oh, is this where I... What does that mean? There's nothing left to drill. Is that planet just empty? Never seen that before. Huh. Interesting. So there's the platinum we need it. And then we'll get some iron. No fuel, though, which kind of sucks. I mean, there we go again, right? We got a stack of helium, though, so we should be okay. Oh, I keep forgetting to take off today for some reason. Figured I'd try to get here just to see, because last time we found a cool ship. Um, let's go down this way. Red Dwarf. Okay. So we have this again. We don't know any languages. Um... These are numbers, I believe. And I honestly don't know. I know I've had this before, and I don't know if, like, what you pick is random. I'm just going to try the fourth. Take some organic containers. Whoa, we got a stack of helium for that. Okay, let's remember that. And we found a rocky planet. Um, let's throw in the helium that we got. And let's use our oxygen as well. And then let's mine this planet. So silicon. So now I think we can build the uh, super probe or whatever it's called. Which would be great. Uh, I'll take all this for, well, no, if I, do, well, yeah, let's just take it all. So I I think I can build that, the Ultra Probe. Yep, but before I can, I'm going to need to create some space for it. Uh, let's see if we can't. Okay, that's full. Well, let's build the Ultra Probe here. So we should be able to get more gas uh, from Gas Giants, which would be awesome. And let's make our next jump. There's nothing else here, right? Yep. Blue Giant. Huge construction is adrift on the outer rim of this system. A long tube large enough to pass the small moon with a small control station floating in its center. It's beautiful and it's terrifying. Um, so we can explore the control station or we can land on the uh, the moon at its the planet that's in it. Let's do explore. I enter the tiny cube floating in the center of the construction. Suddenly, a 4-6 holds the ship and tries to tear it apart. I engage full thrust to escape. As I flee, I see behind me a spark shining, then burning into a massive oblong sun. Nuclear fusion. I fly as fast as I can to escape the blast. Everywhere around me, the ice is thawing. I realize that in a couple of millennia, life will thrive there, and it will be my doing. Cool. So we lost fuel and took some damage, but interesting event, at least. So let's check out, see what our new probe can get us. We'll go back to seven. Oh no, a sudden pressure surge destroyed my probe. I was quite shaken as well. I had to rebuild it. Fine. So we destroyed our ultra probe the first time we used it. Uh, it's just it's lame. No, don't drop it. Let's finish. Let's toss it in. 
Sauce so and helium. I think we can build another ultra probe. Yep. Um. Hmm. You want to try again? How are we on fuel? We got 23. Yeah. I want to try it again. Let's just go to five. Eh. Not great. Can't even get this helium. I mean, I'd rather take the helium than the hydrogen. Silicon? You want to just drop the silicon and take the... Uh, I mean, fuel is just such an important part of this game. And I built what I needed to uh, have silicon for, so... Finish there. What else is in this system? A gas giant? Or a rocky planet, I mean? Let's drill here. So platinum, thorium, um, more iron. So we'll just top off our iron stacks here. Um, I'll take the platinum, I guess. Do I need thorium for anything? I don't think I do. So we'll just leave the thorium there and then finish up here. Take off. And before we uh, make our next jump, I'm going to take a break here. So thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next video.